this is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about how to construct finite automata from a given graph. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. As you know, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, In our previous videos, we have already seen what is a finite automata and what is a graph. In today's video, we are going to see how to construct a finite automata from a given graph. Basically, a finite automata we define with this five double Q, sigma, Q0, F and delta, where we are having Q as the finite set of states, which is not equal to five. Sigma is set of input alphabets. Q0 is the initial state, which is a part of the set of states. And F is the final state, there may be one or more final state. And delta is the transition function, which maps Q cross sigma to Q. Already we know this. Similarly, we define a grammar with these four tuples V, T, P and S, where V is a set of non-terminal symbols, T is a set of terminal symbol or input symbols you can say. P is the production rule for terminals and non-terminals. A production rule has of the form alpha derives beta where alpha is a set of string on V union sigma and at least one symbol of alpha belongs to V. And S is a special symbol called the star symbol. These are the basic things that we must know before we start constructing finite automata from a graph. So let us see what are the rules that we are having. The first rule is we include an H for transition QI on input symbol A when it is goes to QG. This H will be included if in the grammar we are having AI derives AAG or in other words if you want to say include an H from QI to QJ with H level with A if the production is of the form AI derives AAG. The second rule is include an H delta QIA to QF. QF is the final state if in the grammar we are having AI derives A. In other words if I want to say we need to include an H from QI to QF with H level A if we are having a production of the type AI derives A in the gram. Here A can be epsilon also. Whenever A is epsilon, at that case QF is the final state without any transition. That we need to take care. Let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Here is the grammar is given where A0 is the starting symbol of the grammar and we want to construct a finite automata. So what we want to do? Let us take each and every production one by one. The first one is A0 derives A A0. As per rule 1, we need to keep a transition from Q0 on input symbol A to Q0. So it will be looking like this. On Q0, there is a transition A again to Q0. The second production is A0 derives B A1. It means there is a transition from Q0 on input symbol B to state Q1. So we'll be having something like this. So from Q0 to Q1, there is a transition on input symbol B. Another production is A1 derives A A1. This production. So it means we need to have a transition that is Q1 on A to Q1. So we'll be having a loop kind of structure here. The next production is A1 derives B Q0. So there is a transition from Q1 on B to Q0. So the transition is like this. The next production is A0 derives B. It means there is a transition from Q0 on input symbol B to the final state. 
On B, we have already traversed to Q1 and Q1 is not the final state. So we need to take another state QF or the final state from Q0 on transition B, it's supposed to go to QF. And one more transition is there. Q1 derives A. It means there's a transition from Q1 on input symbol A to QF. So from Q1 on input symbol A, it's supposed to go to QF. So this is our required finite automata. So the required finite automata, the set of states will be having Q0, Q1 and QF. Input symbols are A and B. The starting symbol is Q0 and this is the transition already we have seen. So this is how we can construct a finite automata from a given grammar. Now let us see how the grammar and finite automata we are compared. So in the grammar we are having V as set of variables or non-terminals. P as set of terminals, P as the production rule and S is the starting symbol. In finite automata, Q0 is the initial state, Q is a set of states, sigma is the input symbol and delta is the transmission function. It means in the grammar whatever is the starting symbol, it is supposed to be initial state of the finite automata. Similarly, Whatever variables or non-terminal symbols are there, it is same as set of states. And the terminal symbols in the grammar is same as the set of input symbols in our finite automata. And from the production rule of the grammar, we need to generate our transition functions. So this is how we can say, so these two can be equivalent. Let us try to take one more example. Here, the production rule are, S derives AS or BS or AA, A derives BB, B derives AC and C derives epsilon. Now S derives AS implies there is a transition from S on input symbol A to S. The second one is S derives BS. It means there is a transition from S on input symbol B to S. It means so S is the starting symbol. And on S, we are having a self loop on input symbol A and B. Next production rule is S derive AA. It means there is a transition from state S on input symbol A to state A. So, this is how we can translate it. The next production rule is A derives BB. It means there is a transition from state A on input symbol B to B. So, from A to B, there is a transition on input symbol B. And the next one is B derives AC. It means there is a transition from B on input symbol A to state C. So from B to C, there is a transition on input symbol A. And the next production is C derives epsilon. So C has to be the final state. So this is how we draw our finite automata from a given graph. Here the finite automata will be having state S, A, B and C. Input symbol are A and B. Delta already we have defined here and C is the final state. I hope you understood how to convert a finite automata from a given graph. In our next video we are going to see what is left linear grammar and right linear grammar and how to convert left linear grammar to right linear grammar and vice versa. See you then. Take care. Bye.